I've got an Antminer T9 here that I'm testing and I'm having it go in head to head against an Antminer S9 to measure the power. So you can see we got the T9 here uh, running at 11.5 uh, uh, terahash and then we got the S9. This is a variable frequency uh, doing the 12 terahash, so a little bit more. I've got the power meters hooked up and I thought that the T9 was going to use significantly more wattage. Um, so it's using 1350. It's been running for a while here. And the S9 variable frequency is using 1330. So not much of a power difference, maybe about 30 watts. And from a hashing standpoint, uh, you know, we're hashing about uh, 12,000 here. And the temperature on the chip for the S9 is the highest one's 94, which is a pretty high temperature. Now, if we look over at the T9, the hashing's uh, almost the same, up around 11.8, and the temperature on the chips are significantly lower. So that's going to be really nice from a standpoint of uh, mining in the summertime um, when it gets nice and hot. So that's the good news. The I didn't realize that the Antminer S9 variable frequency used more electricity than the S9 fixed frequency, um, but it's really neat to see that they're very close to the T9, and the T9 has much lower temperature. So that's good news for mining all through the year.